Hey guys, have a lot of people asking me how to repair these little dents and pocks and such in your uh, camper. Now a lot of people say, oh, just fill it with Bondo, and I'm not on board with it. I like to use this Evercoat, metal to metal, right here. Now you don't have to get this big of a can. This can cost me like 80 bucks, but I use a lot. Um, it's got to be mixed with a hardener. I just had to go buy some liquid hardener. There it is, liquid and hardener. Now just put yourself a little bit at a time on something plastic. I already put a couple drops of hardener on there. Mix it up. Now what this is going to do is make a chemical reaction. Since I'm Mr. Thrifty, I always save all my little pieces of, of uh, welding rod. And that's what I use to mix this stuff. You go pouring that hardener into that can and all you're going to have is a big glop. Now the more hardener you put in, the faster it sets. Okay. Easy cheesy. You get this stuff on your finger, it stays. Now, I'm just going to take a drywall paddle. That's a piece of plexiglass I had. And we're going to walk over here to the back of Olive. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a dent right there. I've already cleaned that dent out. I've already put poly, uh, I've already put uh, lacquer thinner in it, and it's ready to go. This is my hardener, or my liquid metal. Leave it built up a little bit. Now you can almost see the metal in that product, okay? You don't want to overdo it. There's a couple spots I wanted to look at. Yep, here's the other one. Now this particular section has lines in it. It's going through lines. So what I want to do is build it up a little higher, and then I will come back and I will cut those lines in when I do the uh, do the repair. Here's another little dent right here. Again, all cleaned up, ready to go. Just like that. Now, you want to wait about an hour, then you're going to come back. As long as I have more left, we'll look and see if we can find anything. Here's a dent. Now you can really see how deep that dent was. So this is... Just about as easy cheesy as it gets. Take just a little bit of time. I can feel this starting to harden up. In fact, you see those those uh, dots? I'm going to call them dots, those rolls. That tells you that it's starting to heal up or flash up. And I can't work it anymore. So that's just the way it's got to be until we decide. Now, you don't want to put three coats on at once. You want to do once, let it dry rough it up oh, see it's already not gonna set that's coming back out that's all we're gonna get okay that's already starting to set now you might walk around the front here with me and since I've got the camera you are walking around the front here with me and you'll see that up in the front I've already done that and then I've came back with some uh, coats of uh, since those were real deep I came back with some coats of uh, Bondo that's fine as long as you're not trying to fill the basic hole you can use this for feathering the bondo but don't use it for filling okay that's just for finish work and feathering work so that was just a little uh, snippet of way to do things and uh, the way I do things of course there's always a million ways to do things and I'm only right about a quarter of the time so we're gonna leave it alone I hope this finds you well God bless you one and all